Hey guys, I hope you have been enjoying the start of the Milky Way core season. In this video, I will show you how to annotate or label the constellations and stars in your night sky images. I'm sure many of you have seen such images on the internet and wondered how they are done. What we will do here today is different from plate solving that you must be aware of. For those who are not, plate solving is a technique where you can upload your astro image to a website or software that can perform the task for you. The embedded algorithm then compares your night sky image to maps of the sky and by recognizing star patterns is able to provide you an image with star names added. For example, I uploaded my image of the Rosette Nebula to nova.astronomy.net and it plate solved my image and gave me this with annotations. I shot this image in the Brecon Beacons in South Wales with my friend Adam Gill, who is posing in this picture with the light. He's a brilliant astrophotographer and you should definitely go follow him on Instagram. So I wanted to add some constellation lines and star names to this image to make it more informative and this is what it looks like. So first we need to open our image in Photoshop use command plus j or control plus j to duplicate the layer next we need to select the pen tool from the toolbar on the left make sure that path is selected in the drop down menu up here so now we are ready to highlight our constellations let's highlight the constellation of cassiopeia which is here and let's zoom in a little bit into the image so we can see the stars better so the first star is CAF, so let's click on that star and then to the next star which is Alpha and then Gamma and then Delta and Epsilon. So we have selected the shape of the constellation of Cassiopeia but there is no line drawn yet. So to do that let's go into the brush tool and make sure that you have the hard round brush selected. I have gone with a pixel size of 5. You can go for lesser or more depending on your preferences. Next, we need to make sure that we have chosen the right color for the line. Uh, by default, it's black and white. You can click X to switch between the colors or click on that arrow to switch between colors. In my case, I wanted something different. So I have my preset colors up here in the swatches. Or you could choose any other color from the color option. Now I'm going to go with the light blue color and come back to the pen tool and then right click on this blue line and scroll down to stroke path and click. Select brush from this drop down menu if it's not already selected and hit OK. So let's see what it has done. Come back to the move tool and click anywhere on the image and there you go. You have now made your constellation shape appear on your picture. We can repeat this process for different constellations across your night sky image. So let's span across to the Cygnus constellation and we can go back and click on the pen tool. Now at this point remember to hit the escape key so that your previous selection is undone. Next we can repeat the process so now click on the star kappa then iota delta the star named uh, Seda and then Epsilon. Now we have already chosen our brush settings and color so we can go ahead and right click click on stroke sub path and click OK. Now we can click on the star Deneb then Seda and then the star named Eta. So right click and choose stroke sub path click OK and that's it we are done. So you can go back to the move tool and click anywhere on the image and there you go we have highlighted the constellation of Cygnus. Unfortunately the entire Cygnus constellation had not risen when I took this image so this is all that I can highlight in terms of the Cygnus constellation. At this point you can go ahead and highlight any other constellations that might be in your image. I have the constellation of Cepheus in this image but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to leave it at that. 
So we can hit command plus zero or control plus zero on a Windows PC to zoom out. And you will probably see that the path lines are highlighted again, which is not a problem. You are in the move tool, so just click in anywhere on the image and they should disappear. So now that we have learned how to add lines to our constellation, we can go ahead and put some annotations or star names onto our image. To do that, we need to click on the text tool and let's name Deneb first. So near Deneb, let's click and drag across the image so that we get a text box. And the text box appears with the sample text inside. Now we can hit Command A or Control A to select all and then just type D-E-N-E-B. Now as you can notice, this color is the same as that what we used for our constellation lines. To change that, select the word Deneb and then we can go up into our swatches or color tab and at this point you are free to choose any color that you want from the color tab and in my case I'm just going to go with my preset from the swatches so I'll choose this shade of reddish brown and select. You can go up to the font settings and choose a different font size as per your requirements and you can also change to different fonts depending on what kind of fonts you like. I have a lot of them downloaded from the internet so I'm going with this one for this image. You can reposition your text by clicking and dragging along your image to find the perfect position for the text in relation to your star. So I'm going with that and if you go back to your move tool and click anywhere on the image, there you go, you have now created an annotation for the star Deneb. Now we can go again to the text tool and let's do an annotation for Seder. So again click and drag and type in SADR and move the text box according to your wish and go back to the move tool and click anywhere on your image. Now let's try and add the name of the constellation so go back into the text tool and click and drag a text box and type Cygnus, C-Y-G-N-U-S and we can reduce the box size a little bit and let's try and increase the font size a little bit. So instead of 120 we will go 150 and hit enter. Oops, I forgot to select Cygnus, so select Cygnus, go back and type 150 hit enter and there you go this text is bigger now so click and drag again wherever you want in relation to the constellation and let's change the color for the constellation name so you can go back into the color picker or in my case I'll go back into swatches and choose another color and click on it and that's it we can then select move tool and click anywhere on the image and there you go you now have the name of the constellation on your image you can repeat this process for any other constellations in your image. I happen to have Andromeda just over the horizon in this image so I will go back into my text tool and then click and drag and type Andromeda. Let's uh, reduce the size a little bit so back to 120 type 120 and enter and then maybe change the color back to the star color and click and drag on the text box so we can extend it and move it around a little bit and we can go and click on our move tool now and that is it we are done so we have learned how to annotate star names and create lines for constellation shapes if you like this tutorial please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel you can also follow me on Instagram. Here is my Instagram ID. Please do leave your feedback in the comment section below and also feel free to ask any questions if you have any. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you the clearest of skies.